What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Gaming with the Bros. Hello, hello, hello. Episode 23. Yes, yes, episode 23. We're, we're getting up there. We're almost, we're almost at that quarter-life crisis here, so yeah, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little old. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> almost at 25, man. It feels like it feel like we like feel like we haven't been doing it a long time, but at the same time, it has. Yeah, I mean, we've been we've been doing this since November, so it's yeah. been seven, six months, six months. That would make Heck sense. Yeah. Yes, we do it once a week. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think we took what well, we took one week off or something like that. Yeah, I think that was over Christmas or something. Uh, I don't know what it was. I think my it might have been Thanksgiving. I don't, mm. I don't remember. Yeah. Um. But yeah, welcome, welcome to the show, guys. Um, kind of a uh, Nick, Nick, you, Nick, you were doing some some scrounging up, some trying to find some news stuff. There wasn't nothing really happened this week. I really, I really had to scrape the bottom of the barrel for this one. We're we're gonna get real in depth about something that's real weird and probably not gonna actually happen. So <laughs> look forward to that. <laughs> yeah, because like I, there wasn't really much news going on, and then it was like Thursday, and I was like, well, maybe we'll get like a a surprise direct or something. But keep dreaming, bud. Yeah, keep dreaming. <laughs> so I know, yeah, nothing, nothing happened, of course. But, um, yeah. but yeah, Nick, how was your uh, how was your week? Uh, my week's pretty good. I so my, my 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 fresh skateboard came in. Yeah, I saw I saw your video on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, it's good to good to film something again. It's yeah, been, yeah, it's like it's been a long time. Yeah, I I looked at my last upload on YouTube and it was four either four or five years ago. It's like holy crap, it's been. <sighs> so long but it was cool though because people commented that i had like seen five years ago commenting on my videos yeah well, that's it was, cool it's cool to see but so, so yeah so the board came in um went to the park a few times and i went yesterday what kind of board did you get revive Rev- oh okay revive so you're still deck, supporting yeah. revive yeah oh yeah still support that's cool they're still, still around supportive. oh yeah yeah they're they're actually doing really really well it seems like. oh that's awesome yeah it's cool watching um like the owner Andy Schrock, I, I was watch. I've been watching him on YouTube for like over over ten years, and he yeah. just kind of started out in a basement and then moved on to like having a whole warehouse for for revenge, and then turned to revive, and now they have like a whole warehouse skate park too. So I mean they're doing really well, which is cool. Sweet, yeah. Um, but I went to the went to the skate park again on Saturday, and I had a had, had a bit of a spill and oh, hurt, hurt my wrist and my elbow. I I think my wrist is like permanently screwed up just from like years of just constantly falling on it. Yeah. So every time I have like a semi, semi bad fall, it just hurts for a while. Yeah. And this happened a few years ago and I think it's kind of happening again. Um, so we'll see. I, I, I bought a brace and I bought a helmet. <laughs> I'm, I'm not as young as I used to be, you know? Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> I kind of realized like I thought I was invincible as, as a kid and I just kind of like, slam my body against the ground as many times as i wanted to but now it's like yeah it one fall i'm like that hurt so bad yeah, that's kind of like the realization i had whenever kellen was born mm-hmm. so i was like not that i was like a reckless person or anything but i was like well maybe some, if i think about doing something maybe i should like second guess it and yeah. not do what i'm about to do but i mean no i can't think of any specific situation but mm-hmm. yeah you kind of um look at life look at life a little bit differently than you normally would if you, know, if you didn't have kids because yeah you're like yeah i'm invincible nothing could ever happen and i was like well, what, what if i get sick and like die or something like uh you know yeah it but, starts to matter a lot more yeah. yeah and then like i think i was i think i was washing a car or something or no no i was cutting grass uh, a few years ago and i was coming down like the little hill that we have and mm-hmm. i don't know what i did but i just i pinched a nerve or something and i was like I was out for like an hour. I had to, I had to like lay down, and I'm like, Jesus, I'm old. <laughs> well, the problem. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. But the problem is too, like when I go to the skate park, I want to do everything there. You know, like, and, and the one I've been going to is really small, so it only has yeah. a few little objects you can you can skate on. It has like two benches, and then it has like this gap, mm-hmm. and the gap is what I got hurt on two years ago. And yeah, you know, just just like kind of me being me and wanting to like do a trick on everything and yeah, of course get better or whatever. Um, I was trying a new trick over that gap, and I'd done it a few times. I, I was like kind of landing it, but just kind of jumping off the end, and then I did it. And 
landed, but the board landed sideways. So I just mm. instantly fell down. Now, is this is this the last time? Um, when's the last time you actually skateboarded? Uh, it was. It's it's been since I've moved up to to Virginia. Yeah, I think it was. It was like in November or December. I went to another skate park in in Virginia. Oh, okay. And but but that one wasn't like I, I wasn't doing anything like I was doing this week. Yeah. I was just like skating like flat rails and, and boxes and yeah, kind of doing random stuff. But, but yeah, th- those for th- those who are listening, uh, Nick has a channel, um, Nick BP ninety five. Did you did you upload it on the the second one or like your original? My original, yeah. Okay, just, the original. I'm just posting everything on that one now. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know if I have to log in to my to my two point oh whatever two point oh yeah yeah yeah. I also just still did that video talking about two point <laughs> It's like, yeah, this this is not relevant anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I think I actually wa- – well, I think I – I think whenever I had – was watching the video of you f- or getting your skateboard out of the drain and it had, like, half a million views for, yeah. like, no reason, then that's when I texted you and was like, do you know this? And you are like, yeah. It was <laughs> well, like it was whenever the, of- the original It that came out, like, I guess people thought that a clown was going to come out or something. I don't know. Yeah, and it made me so mad too because on on all my videos I turn up the saturation mm-hmm. just because I I have bad taste in in videos, <laughs> so it makes everything look look brighter than it actually is. Yeah, yeah. And my skin, like I was also sweating and hot, but my skin looked really really orange in that video. And people, <laughs> every, everyone who commented was like, "Nice spray tan, bro." <laughs> Get a spray tan, man. It's just <laughs> just the saturation. That's that's funny because I think what was it. I don't, I don't know if it was like one of our original like horror movies or something mm-hmm. but i had someone someone had commented like 10 years like no it was like 15 years ago and he was and he was like um he was like making fun of me for having like a lip ring or something and i'm like dude what are you talking about did you have a lip ring no i guess because <laughs> like maybe just the angle i had it or something my lip maybe looked like it had a lip i don't know but i was uh-huh. like dude what are you talking about and it's like you can't you can't tell them that they're wrong because they're not wrong in their eyes. Yeah, but like, like I can't justify it in any way. <sighs> YouTube. And yeah, and that's like when that that dude had sent that message over Xbox Live a couple weeks ago about me cheating oh, or something. I was like, dude, what what are you even talking about? This is nonsense. Yeah, I had a guy. I had a guy in Rocket League. We were like playing playing on the same team. And I guess I wasn't, I wasn't doing bad, but I wasn't doing great. I think there yeah. were a couple of shots that I like botched. And at the end, he sent me a message. He said, Nick, I hope you go dive cancer. Oh my like, God, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, people are like relentless. Like there, yes, there have been times where I've like done horrible, like on yeah. Halo, but there's also been times where I've like absolutely carried a team and never mm-hmm. once I was like, you know, I'm so angry at this guy. I'm going to message him. Take the him. time. <sighs> Like, it's so hard to message people over it, Xbox. Like, <laughs> yeah because you don't have like a if you don't have a keypad or something or a keyboard like you have to sit there and by the time i got i passed like the first two words i'm like okay no nah, this is not worth it i'm not actually that angry yeah uh, yeah people are oh my god uh, put people behind a behind a keyboard or a message screen yeah don't go nuts so yeah my week was good <laughs> <laughs> how about you how's your week oh it's been good um i mainly just been playing resident evil um mm-hmm. but just trying to keep busy we uh over over the week we um there, there's some like some stone that's next to uh our carport um you might near remember the, it near the stairs like the walkway stairs yeah near the deck um oh near the deck okay yeah yeah so it's i mean it's it's, it's uneven and like me and Brittany like hated it and like one day after work i just I was like, I think I could break this. So like, I went and got like mm-hmm. a sledgehammer out of the shed, and just started going to town and got like half of it done. And nice. then we ended up, I ended up finishing the rest. And then um, mom and dad had some seeds, like grass seeds, so mm-hmm. they uh, they gave it to us. So we've we've got it uh, like kind of blocked off and got seed down. So that way it'll just be grass. We we were always like afraid that Kellen or somebody was gonna like trip and like bust their face on like the brick or something. All right, so what we're talking about? <laughs> uh, you want to jump into the games we've been playing? 
Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So I will, I will start first since my, my list is significantly smaller than what you've got here. <laughs> um, just been playing a ton of Resident Evil. I, um, I've been going through and uh, get, get doing all the um, do doing all the records and stuff so I can lock more of the guns. Uh, I've got the mm-hmm. infinite rocket launcher. I pretty much got everything now, um, except for like the infinite pistol. I just unlocked the um, the ray gun. I don't really know what it's called. The one oh, where... okay, that's the one I I went through my uh, third. How is it pretty cool? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so that I mean that's one I use for my under two hour playthrough. Mm-hmm. It only does damage when you. <clears throat> Sorry, that was a serious voice crack there. <laughs> it only does damage when you hit critical points or weak spots. Okay. So for a zombie, it'll only do damage if you hit him in the head, but it's pretty much a one shot kill. Okay. With cool. Nemesis, I think you have to hit him in the chest, and then there are only a few points where there are weak spots in his in his uh, further um, forms. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been um. So I, I beat it on hardcore and then unlocked Nightmare and with that infinite rocket launcher and all the coins and stuff equipped, you just murder, murder through that game. Um mm-hmm. the only the only problem I have is that this is the last boss fight. Um spoilers for Resident Evil's ending, I guess, but you fight Nemesis at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but um like in this like giant form or whatever. Um because in hardcore mode in nightmare when you shoot when you shoot the little the little red pulps or whatever um mm-hmm. to make him go down he only la- he only lasts about maybe 10 seconds um so you don't even have enough time to because normally i mean you can knock out one or two of those batteries at a time but yeah. in in nightmare um you only got about maybe five to ten seconds so before he you know gets up and starts attacking you again and mm-hmm. It's it was really really I so I've ended up beating Nightmare. Um, I think I beat it in like an hour and a half, which is still nice. like ridiculous. <laughs> it's just crazy how fast you can beat that game. Yeah, but you have to really like use the dodge mechanic. Otherwise, he he just destroys you instantly because he'll hit you and get you on the ground. And then once you're on the ground, I mean, there's nothing you can really do until you get back up and go through that animation. But he just keeps like attacking you like two or three times in a row and it kills you. So Jeez. it's just it was really like pretty frustrating considering like the rest of the game was super easy Mm -hmm. um so i i just unlocked inferno mode there's a fifth mode yeah there's a fifth yeah so it's um the the enemies are even stronger i I think you can still use like your infinite rocket launcher and all that stuff but there's no save there's no cutscene not cutscenes there's no checkpoints so you have to rely on the saves okay so, and you can only get five. You only get five. Well, I, well, I'm not 100% sure. I know, like, if you want to do, like, get S rank in Nightmare, you have to beat the game using less than, or five saves or less. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's the case for Inferno because there's no checkpoints, but I would, it's probably, you probably have to do it within five saves, which okay. is kind of crazy because I did die a couple times um, in the game, just, mainly just from, like, the, the, ne- the Nemesis, like, chase scenes. Yeah, yeah, those um, are always kind of a pain if you're in the if you're in a wrong. Yeah, exactly. Wrong but other, other other than that, the rocket launcher just murders everything in like one hit. <laughs> nice. So, but yeah, I'm I'm digging that. I'll I'll probably hundred percent that sometime this week. And um, I need to get back into Animal Crossing. I've, I kind of fell off a little bit. What? Yeah. Um, the Bunny Day event. Yeah, that that just really, that really just. I wasn't a big fan of that, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get back into it and, and play a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, we played a little bit of Halo the other night with a couple of your buddies, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, yeah, I love, love love some old good old Halo. Having having a full squad. Oh yeah, Halo just oh, you can't can't beat it. Nah, nah, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. But uh, right. but yeah, what you been playing? So I'll start off with RE3. So I've just I've I've done one more playthrough since since last week, and it was the under two hour run. I did it with the gun that we just talked about, the one that that will kill enemies in one hit if you hit them in their head. Yeah, that is tough to do, especially when they're like staggering around. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I did have to use other weapons throughout the game. Just of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, did you wait? Did you have to use other weapons with the infinite rocker rocket launcher runs? You no, just I, I just I put as soon as I got past like the the beginning part, um, and you get access to the first um item box. I just mm-hmm. dumped everything I had. Had got all the coins, got the rocket launcher, and then kept like a couple of uh uh herbs on me. Gotcha. But yeah, other than that, I mean that's all you need. You don't you don't need anything else. Nice. Yeah, but I, I beat the game in one hour, fifty nine minutes and like sixteen oh seconds, God. something like that. So I was like sweating at the end because I, I had like ten minutes left to fight Nemesis Phase Three and then the final phase of Nemesis. Yeah. And and even then, tough. even like even after you defeat Nemesis for, for the you know final time, you still have to you know run through the, yeah. the elevator sequence, or whatever. And then uh, I think I checked my my timer, and I was like at one one hour fifty eight minutes. I was oh like, God. okay, I think I can make it there in a minute. Truck it, yeah. But it was it was good. It was a little frustrating because I was at one of the chase scenes where Nemesis is shooting a rocket launcher at you, mm-hmm. and you have kind of have to run like a, a pretty far ways. To, to catch up with Carlos. Yeah. And I was really low on health. I didn't have like a, a close save before that because I was just like, oh, I don't need this. I yeah, exactly. This. Like, I was just kind of being a little cocky. And dude, I just, I kept dying because I was like, I was literally one hit. Like if they yeah. just hit me once, I would die. And I ended up having to give back like 30 minutes. Oh gosh. Play time. I was like, ugh, this should have been more easy than it was. Yeah. But I just got Yeah, and um Nightmare Mode is actually a little interesting because with, obviously with like the, the zombies and stuff being stronger, they they and they're like way aggressive. They they like run at you. It's kind of insane. There's nice. a couple of times where they caught me off guard and like it's like it scared me because it's just like mm-hmm. it's crazy. But um they add more zombies as well. Oh cool. That's so, like that's really cool. So the part where, I think it's the part where the part where you were talking about when when you have to go to Carlos, or whatever, mm-hmm. like zombies are like dropping from, like the building tops or whatever. So there's and there's like oh, a ton. Now I had the rocket launcher, so it wasn't a big deal, but I would have I could imagine if you went through like a, you know, a non I guess, cheat way I guess to put it, uh, it, it could be quite tough. Yeah. So, and they they and. I don't think any of the items are switched around. Um, kind of like I know in RE Seven, the campaign was pretty different on like professional mode or whatever. But um, but yeah, it was it was nice. So I'm, I'm excited to see how Inferno is going to be if it's going to be any different. Nice. Oh, I do have a correction I want to make. I last last week I said that in order to get the the walking boots in RE Seven, you had to beat the game in under four hours. To get the walking boots, you have to. Um, find all twenty of the collectibles. Yeah. Okay. That makes so sense. that that makes sense. So yeah, because that's what I I use. I definitely use the walking shoes to uh or the running shoes to, to beat it under four hours. Gotcha. So that might convince me to go back and play it again to get all the. Yeah, you should. All the dudes. Yeah. I was also trying to get all the collectibles in RE three, but I I realized I only had like eight out of what twenty or thirty. Yeah, I think I think I've got four. I don't. I didn't ever see him anywhere. Yeah, is that an achievement? Um, I think so. Oof, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do it. I mean, you have to, have to at this point. Yeah, after after I do Inferno mode, I'll uh, I'll probably do like one last run through the game and just get find all... everything. Yeah, nice. Because I've gotten everything. Like I've got all the item upgrades. I've got all like the the memos and letters and stuff you can get. So I've gotten everything except for the uh the little toy heads or whatever nice oh yeah i went back and got some achievements too like i got all the weapon parts i was missing one that was in the um the area where you have to collect the the electrical parts in under five minutes oh yeah that that I was the um, shotgun part yeah i did too i uh i had to look it up and i was like really it was there i was like i even like made the thing go down i just didn't i just didn't, didn't do anything it. with it yeah. yeah i just yeah i just didn't see it and then i did that in under five minutes and i i got the infinite machine gun too and that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty sick. I like it better oh, yeah. than the than the laser pistol. Oh yeah, that, yeah. That I think I used that to beat the game in under two hours. Hmm. That thing, that thing rips. Rips hard. Okay, so moving on from 
Resident Evil 3. Animal Crossing, I, I rolled credits. I got, um, what's his face? Oh, KK, KK Slider. Slider. He got him to come play at, at my place, which was, it was, it was a nice moment. It was, I mean, he, I mean, he slaps on the guitar, I'll tell you what. Was it an actual, did. like, performance and stuff? Yeah, it was like a, it was kind of like a performance. Everyone's gathered around. It's yeah. Like a, there are no lyrics. It's more just sounds like you'd hear in a yeah. Splatoon song. Um, but I'm like terraforming, and nice. that really, really opens up the game. Like I, as soon as I got terraforming, I was like, okay, I can do this and this and this. Yeah. You can build pathways. So I kind of build like a little town. I could build pathways going to every house in in the first part of my island, mm-hmm. and then just kind of build pathways like all around. I that's cool. Set up some more some more bridges. And I made a soccer field and a football field because you can like custom make terrain. So like I would I would make the terrain so that it was like the the white outlines of a soccer field. So does it require material to do these upgrades or like in ter- to terraforms and stuff? No, you just have to spend nook miles to unlock different types of okay. That's cool of items. So you don't have to spend any materials after that. Okay, yeah, because that would be like kind of annoying because like as much as as much as you can terraform and stuff. Cause I, I got a little frustrated with like whenever you start building like bridges mm-hmm. and that little, I don't know what you want to call him, the little cactus looking dude. He's yeah. every time I go there he's like, yeah, we're taking donations, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, cause I, I think I upfronted like 10,000 bells. Mm-hmm. And then like two days later, it was like a 10,480. I'm like, there's no point of like people. Cause people can other like, I guess, animals residents can donate but they don't really donate anything oh they can i didn't even know that yeah yeah i just i just fronted it all myself whenever I yeah so i was like it's a little like there's no there wasn't really a point of it i would just would prefer just to put the money up front like you do with your house mm-hmm. like have, go have it go ahead and be built and then you just be in debt to tom nook whatever yeah, it's kind of like the other way around. Yeah. Fucking weird. Man, they should have made it like Death Stranding where you can all build a bridge together, you know? <laughs> right. Uh, God, if, if Animal Crossing was a strand game, whew, it might be. It might be a strand, a strand genre. <laughs> uh, what, what, else, what else have I done? Oh, so I th- there's like two two main forms of editing you can unlock. One is, is building, obviously building land and, and building like water. You can build rivers. And the other one is building platforms mm-hmm. or yeah building like higher terrain i don't have that one unlocked yet because you need six thousand nook miles per unlock oh gosh so it's like i'll just do like the the first one kind of just to be able to edit land and stuff so i kind of built a little river going through and my town's starting to look like an actual town now feels good cool. the walkways really change they they really open up the game <laughs> they really do they change everything so. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of hard now because you just you're kind of just well, I've got like my houses kind of grouped in like a set location, mm-hmm. um, and then I've got like all the shops and stuff near like the uh, uh, what is it the the town hall? Yeah, town hall, whatever. Um, where where Tom Nook's at? So I've kind of got everything kind of stationed off, but uh, yeah, hopefully we when I, when I get the terraform, it'll definitely open it up. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's not, it's not too hard to get there. You were pretty close to where I was. So. Cool. Yeah. I'm yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Um, what else, what else have I played? I started, cause I downloaded it or I bought it a while ago, but I started Assassin's Creed Odyssey this weekend. Okay. And played through a few hours of it. And man, this is like the first Assassin's Creed game I've played in like what feels like. 10 years because i didn't i've never actually played through an assassin's creed game really yeah like maybe 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 one or maybe assassin's creed 2 yeah one and two and i think brotherhood i like finished it um and then i think i I think i started oh what's the one after brotherhood um revelations revelations i started that and by that point i was just kind of burnt out on assassin's creed Mm-hmm. And then uh, four, well, four, uh, four, I played and finished because that was the one with the the pirate ships, whatever. And that one, oh, that one was pretty cool. Okay. I'm uh, thinking about getting that one on Switch. Yeah, um, it's discounted right now. Yep. Um, 
but I, yeah, I haven't played the most recent ones and I've heard that they're pretty good. And so I've been interested in playing them. Yeah. This I've really, really liked it. Like the, the story is pretty cool. I mean, it goes into uh, like Spartans and like the battle of 300. Yeah. So, yeah. Like all that stuff. Like it starts out with the battle of 300 and you're, you're playing. Oh, wow. Well. I can't remember who you're playing as, but you're just, you're just a complete badass. And then it, obviously story opens up from there. Um, but the game is really good. Like I like the progression system. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Spartan kick is one of the first unlocks you get, and it's super cool. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, this is this is fantastic. Uh, a lot of different weapons in the game. Story is pretty good. Uh, I'd recommend it. I mean, I I I'm really liking it. Did you get it on like, Xbox? Yeah, it's on Xbox. Cool. Runs well. Like, haven't had any problems with frame rate or anything. Cool. Yeah. So as no, as a, as a first. Out, but... Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. As as like a, a first Assassin's Creed game in a while. Like, mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just kind of like it was kind of like Call of Duty for me. It was just they were coming out every year, and I just didn't really feel a need to play them anymore. Mm-hmm. But. But yeah, I've, it's been you know, it's been a long time since I played an Assassin's Creed, so I definitely want to play it. But and there's and there's a rumor of, um, like Ragnarok coming out this year. Yeah. So yeah, that'd be cool. That could be cool. It it is kind of weird though, because like they're still kind of shoehorning in the. You're, you're like playing as this person. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know the story of Assassin's Creed that well, but you're going into like a simulation of of that time period yeah so they had like one cut scene at the beginning where a girl goes into the simulation program mm-hmm. and the then animus. that's it the animus that's what it is oh did you ever see assassin's creed movie oh wait they made a movie yeah oh they did it's got um henry carville in it right the guy who plays the witcher does it? I'm pretty sure because they also yeah. And then they had that that really bad Prince of Persia movie too with uh Jake Gyllenhaal or whatever. Yeah. I forgot about us. I heard it was actually like pretty decent. Sure. Yeah. Did you watch it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw it. Okay. I saw it. I saw it in theaters. Oh, okay. No, no, no. It doesn't have. It has Michael Fassbender. Fassbender. Okay. Yeah. That's yep. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what else he's been in. Uh, he's in some of the newer Alien movies, and he plays Magneto in the X-Men. Oh, Mag- okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Dark Phoenix, Prometheus, Alien Covenant. Yeah. Yeah, he's been it was, a lot. It was all right. It was all right. It was, I mean, it was cool to see, like, the the um, iconic jump. Into, oh, the, uh, the eagle, the eagle jump or whatever. The eagle jump. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh, outside of that, jumped back into Dragon Quest. 11. Okay, cool. So I'd only played like six hours of it mm-hmm. to this weekend. Um, but I left off at the perfect point. It was like right at the end of like a a, a big uh, moment in the story. So mm-hmm. like I kind of remembered everything that, that had happened. Um, but it's definitely opened up a lot. I didn't realize this, but you can control every character in your party. I thought you could just control the, like your hero. Mm-hmm. And everyone else acted on their own, but I was playing around with the settings. And you can control them or you can have them control themselves, which is cool. I've, I've never really seen another game do that. I could be wrong. And is it, is it traditional, like, JRPG turn-based? Yeah, well, there's two options. One is, like, the traditional turn-based, and the other one is pretty much the same thing, but you can, like, run around the enemy. You're kind of on, like, a... Okay, so it's, like, Final Fantasy seven or, like, fifteen or something like that? Yeah, I'd say, like, fifteen. I, I, I'm like super curious about Final Fantasy VII. Me too. I'm thinking about it. Well, because like I've just been listening to like podcasts and people have been like pretty hype on it, and um, like I kind of want to go back and play Final Fantasy X again, and then ten too. I need to play ten. Just, but I might I might just wait and catch it like on a sale or something because I'm sure it'll be on sale pretty soon. Well, not soon, yeah. but down the road, like towards Black Friday and stuff. Right, I'm sure it'll be half price at some point. So I think I'll wait for it, but but we'll see because it looks good. It does. It looks really good. Yeah. 
I, mean, I wasn't. Then, I don't know. The demo just didn't. It didn't do it for me quite. So that's why I was kind of like turned off from it. But I need to play the demo just to see. Yeah. But uh, the last game I played, I actually downloaded today. It was it was a game that was ninety percent discounted from eight ninety nine to ninety nine or sorry ninety eight cents. It's called Spaceman. So I downloaded it. And it was kind of cool because in the description it says like this is our first game. Uh, blah blah blah. It's gonna take like one point one and a half to three hours to beat it. Yeah, short and sweet, whatever. It's like oh cool. It's like a puzzle game. It's like it's like a black and white puzzle game, point and click, but more like a RuneScape point and click where you point and your character walks to that location. Oh okay. And that's like every other point and click, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pretty much. Yeah. But if you you have to hold you have to hold the A button to get him to walk, and if you let go, they'll just stop moving altogether. Which is kind of kind of weird. And if you move yeah. your if you move your cursor at all, they'll stop moving as well. Hmm. So I think that could have been improved on a little bit. But the puzzles so far have been pretty cool. I think I'm gonna finish it. I mean, obviously it's a short a short game. So I mean I'd I'd recommend it. It's a dollar. Can't can't go too wrong. I mean and, and it's the studio's first game, so cool. Yeah. Spaceman. Spaceman. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. But that's pretty much all I've been playing. I kind of dipped into a lot of a lot of RPGs this week between Assassin's Creed and Dragon yeah. Quest. <laughs> I still have about a hundred hours to go with Dragon Quest, but yeah, I heard that game super long. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I've been thinking about like maybe popping back into The Witcher because I still haven't finished it yet. <laughs> oh, you haven't? Wait, where no, did no, no. you leave off at? Um, I think the part where. Uh, I think you're with you're at like a a, a party with Trish Marigold, mm-hmm. and you. But that might have been a side quest. I can't remember. I I, I still haven't gone to. Um, uh, I, I'm where where is it at? Was it part where the boat? Wait, part where you got to oh, Skellig. Skell, yeah, I still haven't gotten past Skellig yet. So you, you got a ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been doing like a ton of side quests. Like the side quests are so much fun in that game. That that uh. That quest of going to Skellig is just like omnipresent throughout your entire playthrough of The Witcher. It's just, it's just always there. Like you, you'll get there. there. You'll get there one day. Yeah, I'll get there one day. I might, I might boot it up this week sometime. Yeah, I say I, I need to play the DLC. Yeah, play Blood and Wine. Uh, yeah, it's, it's always on sale if you don't already have it. Well, it, it can't. It comes with the Switch edition. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so I have it. And I started, I started Heart of Gold, or Heart, sorry, Heart of Stone, right after I beat it, but I haven't jumped back into it yet. So, I don't know. Yeah, what can you do? Anything else you've been playing? I think that's it. All right, we'll go ahead and jump into the news. Um, like we said at the top of the show, kind of a crummy week for news. There wasn't really much that happened. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. Not much. Um. But they did they did they formally announce the Cyberpunk controller? Because like the, it was leaked, I think. Was, yeah, they announced it. Okay, the, okay. The Xbox One X Special Edition console and controller. Yeah. Well, at first, like there was there was rumors and like or people were speculating that Cyberpunk was going to be uh, a Game Pass game. But then they but then they showed off the console and stuff. So that that wasn't the case. That would have been. That would have been really cool if they had got if they had gotten that, that. Been a console. Yeah, but um, but yeah, I mean, it looks it looks cool. It's like yellow. It's like cyberpunk colors. It's um, weird that it's the One X and not the Series X, in my opinion. Like, why wouldn't they just? Oh, I just because when does this game come out in September? I think September. So yeah, I guess probably the console won't be out yet. So, but, but why? Why would they release it in June? Like, why? Not just wait until September. I guess I just want to get it out there. Oh, it's coming out in June. Yeah, the 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 special edition console is coming out in June, but the game's not coming out until September. Weird. I always like. I'm always not a fan of when they do these special edition con- special edition consoles, but then they don't come with the actual game. Yeah, it's like the Animal Crossing Weird. Switch. Why doesn't yeah. it come with Animal Crossing? Yeah, or you know, something. I don't know. Or like a discounted like Animal Crossing or something, mm. but um, 
it looks, yeah, yeah, it looks it cool. Looks, looks cool. Um, have you have you ever had any special edition consoles? Um, I don't think so. I'm trying to think of like DS is no. No, not really. I mean, they've always looked cool, but I've never. I don't know. Yeah. I, I would never pay another 300, 400 bucks for a console just because of its special edition. But if I didn't have it, then maybe I would, I would jump in. But the um, only, well, I have the Zelda Wii U, like the Wind Waker Wii U. Mm hmm. And that one's, I mean, that one's cool. But you have the Zelda one? Yeah. Yeah. Like the gamepad has like Zelda inscriptions on it, like gold. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Oh, wait, um, and then we and then we had the uh, the Tommy Hilfiger game. Well, yeah, games. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, mean that's, I don't know if that's a. <laughs> I wonder if it's worth. I, I think I've looked it up before, like if it's worth anything. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what it was. It's priceless. Priceless Tommy Hilfiger. Um, but Crisis Remastered is coming to all platforms, which is like kind of wild that it's coming to Switch because I mean, back in the day, Crisis was like you needed like a beast of a PC to be able to run this game at like full, full power or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, max settings. So it's just funny that it's coming to the switch, but yeah, I mean, obviously that was like the test for, for, uh, for PC. Yeah. Um, I was never really into crisis. I, I played a little bit of crisis three, I think. Um, but I couldn't tell you anything about it other than that. From what I heard, they they kind of lost their way after Crisis One. Yeah, because I heard Crisis One was like semi open world, but then Crisis Two was just like a Call of Duty. Right. Yeah, that's probably what happened. They, they, once Call of Duty started getting really really popular, that's probably what they did. Yeah, but I'm I mean I'm interested to go back and yeah, I'll uh, definitely check it out and see or you know take take a look at the trailers because other than three, I don't think. Yeah, I don't remember it. Is there a release date for this? Do you know? I didn't see. I didn't see anything, but there, there, there probably is. I mean, I'm sure. I'm assuming it's coming out probably this year. It's probably uh, May 27th, just like every other. Because this was this was announced, right? It wasn't. It wasn't like a leak. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was leaked and then announced. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, the next thing, SpongeBob. I'm actually probably gonna get this game. Oh yeah. It looks. It looks super cool. Yeah. Um, first, I mean, the, like the original game was awesome yeah so like it it, it looks like uh, it looks really great like, oh so sorry we're talking about spongebob battle for yeah Kino. battle yeah rehydrated edition yeah. so because i was even looking at like the, the special editions and stuff there's like a 200 hundred dollar one with it's like a diorama or not a diorama but like a oh, it's got like spongebob and all that stuff mm. like that sta- like yeah. statues and stuff and i like I almost I was like, nah, I can't spend two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Uh, so another this one was announced a while ago, but would you pick up Destroy All Humans Remastered? I probably am gonna pick if it's. I don't know if I want to pay. I don't know if it's sixty bucks. Hopefully, it's like forty, um, or thirty. But yes, I am probably gonna pick that up as well because um, I, I did play both of the original Destroy All Humans, and they're they were pretty fun back in the day. I don't know. I love I love watching play them. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to hold up. Hopefully they – because I would imagine, like, the controls are probably weird yeah. now. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yeah, I am in- interested in that one as well. I'll pick up. Because that, that, that was, like, a very funny game. It was just yeah, kind of like uh, that and, like, Stubbs the Zombie. Did you ever watch, did you ever watch me play that one? Oh, my God. Or did you ever I forget. play that game? I wa- yeah, I watched you play it a lot. Yeah, that, that game was really fun. Just – what was the premise? You're a zombie. I mean, obviously, you're a zombie, but are you infecting people? Yeah, yeah. You were like infecting people and killing people and stuff. And you could, you, I think you got like upgrades and stuff to where you could take off your head and throw it at people. And mm-hmm. you could infect people and have like a horde of zombies fall on you and stuff. It was, it was really cool. What a weird time for games. Yeah, that, like- that was, uh, that was the only other game that was made in the Halo engine. Really? Yeah. So that was a zombie? Which, which is, it's got it on the box. It's like made in Halo Engine. <laughs> wow. Because I think it was like a an ex Bungie employee that made the game. Mm. So, I, but yeah, that game that game was a lot of fun. It was like very quirky and and funny. But 
wonder if they'll remaster that one. Yeah, that would be a that would be a really great one for them to remaster. I would definitely uh, I would yeah. definitely play it. I think it's THQ that's doing these remasters. Mm-hmm. I think so. Well, yeah. well, I just think of like I think Spyro Reignited Trilogy was so popular and it did so well that I think there's like a an interest for these old games. Right. Again. And Crash too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Crash did very well. Mm-hmm. So I'm all, I'm all for it, man. I'm all I'm all for like proper remasters and stuff yeah all right this next story is weird so <laughs> yeah this is all you because I, I have no idea <laughs> so sony trademarked an autonomous robotic companion mm-hmm. that can sympathize with the user and it reacts to their emotions during gameplay and this is like a physical thing that can like sit beside you on the couch Okay. It's described as like a fuzzy guy who sits next sits next to you while you game, and it's kind of described as a like a joint viewing experience where you're watching the game, like whatever game you're playing together, and this character or AI will respond to how you talk to it, and it can sense whether or not there's like tension in your voice, mm-hmm. and it will react appropriately to that. It's like it can react to your to your voice but it can also react to your touch so if you're hmm. petting it it'll i guess talk more and be supportive but if you're like throwing it around it won't talk as much because it knows you're angry at something interesting it's all very weird um and it can also tell you to go to bed and help you improve your life rhythm i don't know how this works yeah i don't <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah that just seems that definitely seems like a, a pat a trademark for sure it's just a trademark <laughs> like there are yeah. a bunch of trademarks that happen all the time oh yeah yeah for sure. <laughs> yeah any sort anytime like i hear stuff about these game companies doing stuff like this because do you remember back in the day when nintendo had announced like the i don't know if it ever came out but you put you put your it like read your pulse or whatever you put your finger in there while you were playing and it would it would keep track of your your heart rate mm-hmm. and in theory like if games were scary they could ramp up like the the scare factor i guess if you're you know you have an increased heart rate or something like that yeah i think i don't i don't think it ever came out it was definitely sh- like shown off like yeah yeah they, they talked about it in like their, their press conference but mm-hmm. it was just, just stuff like that like these companies are always doing random stuff. Yeah. And even Nintendo even had another thing where they were helping. They had like a third pillar of their structure where they were focusing on like, I don't know, like the balance of your life or something like that. Well, they announced uh, that Pokemon sleep thing that we haven't heard anything else about. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Where you can, I don't know, it, it you lay it on your bed or something and it keeps track of your your sleep patterns and I don't know, you can have something to do with Pokemon. I'm not really sure, but yeah, any, anytime these, I don't know, anytime this, they just seem like super gimmicky and, and even like with the PlayStation controller, like that touch pad is super gimmicky. Yeah. No one uses it for anything. I mean, I mean they like just, a big button. Yeah. They just use it as a button now. Yeah. So like a lot of quality and quality of life, patents never really come to fruition because the technology is just not there for a lot of them Mm -hmm. yep but it's i mean it's always fun to talk about them and just kind of talk about how ridiculous yeah like a fuzzy guy who's next to you and yeah it's just very weird because when you do a patent you like you have to be kind of specific so you have to add in these weird details that yeah you know lead to these types of conversations of, of having this and then, like I saw like a picture of of, of like a draw, like a, a draw up because like you have to like draw up a version of it for patents. Mm-hmm. And it was just like a, a circular guy with like a smiley face just sitting down the couch <laughs> next to someone. That's funny. Like, okay, that's cool, I guess. I don't know. Maybe maybe that'll be around the E three time they announce this fuzzy guy who sits next to you. Maybe, that, maybe that's their big E three thing. Our big. Not- maybe, maybe that is the PlayStation Five, and it it wirelessly projects the images on screen that's like i don't know <laughs> damn maybe oh speaking of e3 um 
I don't know if this news happened this week or last week, but mm. either way, uh, there's not going to be a formal E3 this year or an informal 3D E3 this year. Um, so they like I, they said they were going to do a digital event initially. Yeah, and then they kind of backtracked. They backtracked, and now they have their E3 scheduled for 2021, and it's supposed yep. to be like reimagining and yeah, all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, we'll see. I know. I mean, I know IGN is doing like their Summer of Games event, which is kind of like the digital E3. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to get a bunch of developers and stuff like that together. Um, so hopefully that will kind of, you know, give light to some of the, the indie developers and stuff like that. That way we can still see like some cool games for that. Yeah. Then obviously, you know, Nintendo will do their direct, Microsoft will do their thing. Um, and then Sony's doing whatever. I don't know. They'll probably announce the PS5 or they'll probably show what it looks like whenever they release it or something. I don't know. You guys. What are they, why haven't they showed it yet? I mean, I they're showing know. the controller, but not the console. I mean, it's just yeah, it's a bunch great. of malarkey going on right now. I don't know. And then um, Gamescom got canceled as well yes. over the week, which was kind of, I don't know why they hadn't already canceled, but I guess because it was, I think it's in August um, or is it October? Anyways, it's later in the year, but uh, I think I think they're doing something digitally. Okay. They they were probably waiting to be shut down by the city. Well, it okay. Well, I think um cuz it takes place in uh Is oh, it LA? No, it's in it's overseas. Um Oh gosh. Berlin? I don't know. I'm having a brain fart. I can't think of it. Germany. It takes place in Germany. Oh, um, so and then I think Germany had announced that there was n- like all there was like a ban of events and stuff like that as well. So mm, okay. that's when Gamescom came out and said, "Hey, yeah, we're we're canceling it this year. We're doing a digital event." So, which makes sense. I mean, everything. I mean, everything's been canceled. If I don't think there's going to be any sort of major events going on, we group a bunch of people together this year. Period. Yeah, even 20, when like 2020 is the wash <laughs> yeah it, even, even when they do lift like you know the stay-at-home order and stuff like that i, I still think that mass gatherings like that are probably going to be banned for a while um yeah i think but, yeah i don't i don't even know if we'll see like uh, a march madness next year just yeah i don't know maybe or maybe they limit to to just the players or something mm-hmm. have like a pay-per-view i don't i don't know how they'll do it but yeah i don't know it's kind of crazy now but yeah but we're surviving we're trying to get through it with surviving the love of video games and stuff like that yeah we're getting but, through it but yeah i'm trying i'm just trying to like uh spread my time between like just going outside and doing yard work and playing some games here and there mm-hmm. but, but yeah it's still it's still going good um Walmart's like, well, it's kind of weird because now, like, I went to Home Depot the other day and uh, they had like a line out the door and they were only letting so many people in at a time and mm. stuff like that. And like, everyone's wearing masks and stuff. It's, it's yeah. kind of crazy. And even Walmart was doing the same thing where they have like sectioned off and stuff. So, Jeez. Let, unless they're, I guess, t- taking the pr- proper procedure, I guess. But, yeah, I think masks are required in most stores around here now. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not required here yet, but uh, but that that may come. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. It's weird yeah. wearing a mask to a grocery store. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's kind of surreal. A little sad. But, but you know, it's and it's annoying too because like almost every time I go out somewhere, like there's just gloves and stuff all over the place. People just throw them in the ground. Really? Yeah. Man. So that's, that's kinda that's, that's kind of annoying. But I mean I've got like when I go out, like I've got my little can of uh like lifestyle wipes that every mm-hmm. time I go in and out I'll always you know, wipe my hands off and wipe down the car before I get out and stuff. So right. trying to trying to keep as uh germ free as possible. That's good. Yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah, that's all you can do, but we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm just ready to, to sit down 
at a Mexican restaurant and eat some friggin' chips and queso and drink a margarita. Yeah, me too. I <laughs> I was just just complaining about that this weekend. I was like, that's I just want a margarita, man. Yeah. Just let like, me go out and have a margarita. Mom and dad brought brought us um some Texas Roadhouse last week. Mm-hmm. It was really good. I mean, it was it was still great. I mean, it's still good to eat it to go and stuff, but yeah, there's nothing like just sitting down in a restaurant and just drinking a an alcoholic bre- be- uh, beverage and just chilling. Just vibing. Yeah. What is cool though in in Virginia is you can get cocktails to go now. Oh, cool. Well, I know like here you can get like a growler filled up mm-hmm. um, with beer and stuff, but I don't, I don't think they allow like uh, drinks with liquor in it to be okay. able to go be to go. So. I went Could on wrong, Friday. I'm not sure. I went on Friday and picked up a an alcoholic slushy nice. from the bar, and then just walked on home with it. Nice. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can get people you can, you can get a, get around it and stuff like that. But it's like the wild west out here now. Yeah, like the the liquor store was is closing early now, and it closed at like six. Mm. So it's like I think I went a couple weeks ago. It was like it was like five thirty, and I didn't realize that they had closed that early. And it was like jam packed. I was like, "Geez, what is going on?" And then I saw the sign. I was like, "Oh, okay." Ah, oh, man. So having a place to close at six—that's that's so tough. Yeah. Well, because I, I, you know, I get off of work at five, so it's like I just gotta, I gotta rush if I want to get do anything. Because Home Depot closes at six. Um, I think Walmart stays open until like eight, maybe. So I mean, that yeah, you still got plenty of time with that, but. But yeah, I mean it's not too bad. But yeah, I think just sitting out on a restaurant is what I miss the most right now. Yeah, same. Because everything else, like I can pretty much do. I can, you know, still go shopping and get the stuff I need. But but yeah, the restaurants just can't. It's a bummer. Uh, just can't go out and have a margarita. Yeah, just need that marg. Uh. But um, yep, that is going to do us for this week. Um, appreciate everyone that's been watching and uh. I don't know how many people were watching live, but sorry for for the audio issue. But um, yeah, the the regular feed should be should be fine, and then the the YouTube video should be should be good as well. Um, I'm not sure. Max are incredibly annoying for just anything that you want to do with them, unless you're just like not like editing a video or something. Yeah. Other than that, it's like why? But um. But yeah, that's going to do it. We'll see you guys uh, next weekend, next Sunday, uh, 8.30 live. And uh, but yeah, appreciate everyone that's been listening and watching. We'll see you all next week. See you, see ya. Later. Adrenaline kicks and shifts into overdrive. Your secrets keep you sick, your lies keep you alive. Snake eyes every single time you roll with crooked eyes. I felt the dark. As it tried to pull me down The kind of dark that haunts a hundred-year-old house I wrestle with my thoughts I shook the hand of doubt Running from my past I'm praying feet Don't fail me now I lost my goddamn mind It happens all the time I can't believe I'm actually meant to be here Trying to consume The drug in me is you And I'm so high on misery Can't you see? Questions always running through my head. So many things that I would like to understand. If we are born to die and we all die to live, then what's the point of living life if it just contradicts? I felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down. The kind of dark that haunts a hundred-year-old house. I wrestle with my thoughts. I should be